players. I'm going to begin with Noah Grubbs. Let me just make sure I actually have Noah's film up first. Yeah, I have Noah's film up first, so we'll get to him first. Noah Grubbs is a big kid. He's listed at 6'4", anywhere between 190 to 205 pounds. Great frame, which you guys will see on film. Big-armed kid. Uh, Two-year starter in high school. Uh, as a freshman, he passed for 17 touchdowns and six picks. Uh, had 1,593 total yards in 11 games. As a sophomore this past year at Lake Mary, he passed for 3,670 yards. Saw his completion percentage go up over seven percentages, seven percentage points. Averaged 305.8 yards per game. Had 49 touchdowns and 10 interceptions uh, last season. And had a game, I, I have to go look at the, the game by game, but he had a game, I think, threw something like seven or eight touchdowns last year. Yeah, it threw eight touchdowns last year in a win over Dr. Phillips. 76 to 60 win over Dr. Phillips. Had another game with five, another game with six. So he had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten games last year out of 13 where he had three or more touchdowns. And he had three, four, five, six games with five or more touchdowns last season as a sophomore. Uh, that's passing touchdowns. He's not much of a runner. I think he's a he's actually on the, the minus for his career, I believe. Yes, no, he's plus three for his career in rushing yards, and he had four rushing touchdowns last year, all short, near the goal line type situations. Uh, and as you'll see on film, he's got good pocket mobility. He's got good foot quickness in the pocket, but he doesn't bring a whole lot of value as a runner. From a ranking standpoint, Noah Grubbs is highest, is lowest ranked by on three, who has him ranked number 219. I have no clue what they look at at quarterback evaluations, but this is a common theme every year. ESPN has him at number 195. 247 Sports has him at number 165. Rivals has him at number 44. I tend to – my grade for him is closer to Rivals. He's a borderline top 50 kid. He's not quite top 50 for me yet, but he's borderline top 50 for me. Definitely has a four-and-a-half star upside grade already. We'll see how he goes as a junior and a senior. Uh, kid has a, an impressive offer list. Uh, you, you look at, obviously, Michigan has offered him. He's been offered by Texas A&M, Arkansas, uh, Auburn, Duke. Uh, out, let's see here. Auburn, Duke, uh, Arkansas. Trying to go down here. Florida, Miami, Ole Miss, Nebraska, North Carolina, Ohio State, Oklahoma, Penn State, Pitt, Syracuse, Texas A&M, Virginia Tech, West Virginia, and UCF have all offered Noah Grubbs a scholarship. So we'll get into Noah's film first, and then we'll talk a little bit about Brady Hart. And I'm going to talk about what I like about these players and some areas where they have to improve upon. Uh, and then at the end, I'm going to kind of wrap it up with what I want to see with quarterback recruiting in the 2025 class. So let's bring up some film, and we're going to begin by breaking down Mr. Noah Grubbs. And the first thing that you guys are going to see when we start watching this film is this is a kid with a very big frame. And he's going to be, to me, minimum 215, 200, 225 pounds when it's all said and done. Let's make this a little bigger so you can see more. A uh, couple things I like about him that, that you also notice about him. A big kid, but this is also a kid that has a really strong arm. Ball comes out of his hand with a lot of velocity. He's not really a big wind-up kid. He gets a lot of torque. Watch the power. Like he, This isn't like a slow delivery. This isn't one where he's like really like winding up. But watch the torque that he generates with that arm, that arm speed that he has, and the ball just flies out of his hand. Gets a lot of zip here. That's about a 25-yard throw from where he threw it and gets it on there in a hurry. And he has a very, very strong arm. You'll see here as well, throws off his back foot. That is a corner route off of his back foot that he throws for a touchdown. Now, that's one of those ones that I would say don't ever do that again. Because this throw ends up being a touchdown in high school. That's an interception again in college, right? So those are things that you learn as a quarterback to do and not to do. But what I like is, again, is the arm strength. This is a basically a far hash throw into the corner that he gets over there while fading away and falling back and about to be hit. So you, you're going to see the arm strength. This kid has a very powerful arm. He has throws on here. There's a throw from his sophomore year. I don't remember if he has any as a junior that travels over 50 yards in the air. This is a zip. Like, look at this. Again, what you have to – this this play is important. This is going to help you understand a little something. So you'll see guys that can throw with a lot of zip, but they have to wind up. It's like pitchers. You know, you can have two pitchers that throw 95. One guy throws 95 effortlessly. 
The other guy throws 95 with full force. He's got to get everything into it. I want the effortless guy. That's more repeatable, less wear and tear. And also the effortless guy gets it faster. So when you watch this kid's arm speed, what you're going to see is he does not have to wind up and really get a lot into it, but he gets a lot of, of power in that arm. Watch how much he does a great job of driving through with his hips. You can see the arm. I mean, it just, it comes with power. Like he's throwing a punch and that explains why he gets so much zip on the football. And you see this ball just flies into this guy. I mean, he makes this look easy. So it looks like he's kind of putting a, he, it looks like he's putting full effort into it, but he's really not. He just has that natural, powerful arm. And you can see it here as well. The ball just jumps out of this kid's hand. Light on his feet. There's some things I want to see. They're a little bit too hoppy at the top of that. I don't want to see that much hop, but it's okay. You see a nice gather, gets the ball out, makes a good read, throws accurately. You watch film, He's he, he, he'll have some misses that you don't want to see a quarterback miss on film. There's some footwork things he needs to improve, but it's all coached. We actually actually have pretty good ball placement, actually. It's just consistency is the key. Here again, nice, easy flow, reads the quarter, reads the reads the defense, gets the ball out over top. Again, shows off his arm talent. Kid has a big time arm. Like one of the best, just pure arm strength. He has some of the, the best arm strength and the, some of the best arm talent in the room. He also is a kid that can throw off, off platform. This is an example. This isn't so much changing arm angles, which he does. It's throwing off platform. It's not there. He's getting pressured. He just goes and makes a play. And, and that's just that's where that arm strength and that arm talent comes into play. As you'll see in these clips, he does he does show me good pocket mobility, even though he's not much of a runner. This is a this is another throw that's just a great throw. This is from about the 47 yard line, middle of the field. Guy catches it about the two. That's a 45 yard throw, three step drop, drops it right over the over the outside shoulder. Guy makes it go play on it. He drifts a little bit. The receiver does. That's why it doesn't quite go outside. This is another really good throw. This is a corner route he throws from about the 38-yard – foots on the 38-yard line. Guy catches it, I believe, inside the 10. This is a corner route that he throws off of his back foot, catches it inside the 5. This is a 30-plus-yard throw on a corner route off his back foot fading away. Now, I would want to work on that a little bit. I'd want to get a little bit more drive off that back foot. And, and snap it just a little bit more. Like you can see, doesn't really snap the arm a little bit against a sophomore. But the fact that he can do those things that I would correct and still get the ball out there is impressive. And it shows you the young man's arm strength on this particular play. Again, nice rhythm in the pocket, doesn't have heavy feet. Like a lot of guys that aren't runners or aren't superly mobile have really heavy feet in the pocket. No, it does not have heavy feet, right? It's not super, super quick, but he stays light on his feet. He's always moving. He's always in position to, th to throw. You can see him working through his progressions, and he gets the ball off. This is Noah Grubbs, by the way, for those who, who are asking about that. And then, of course, you see the arm strength to be able to fit ball in, balls into tight spots. So I really, again, far hash throw. And high, and high school hashes are further away. So this is a far hash throw on an outcut that he gets out on deep outcut to the sideline. That's a big-time throw. That's a really big-time throw. And, uh, and and something that you really like. And you're, you're going to see something similar from Brady Hart's film where Brady's not really a runner either, but Brady has the athleticism to be a runner. This is one of those ones where he aims a little bit. You can see how – watch his arm speed change. And this is something that I would I want to work with him. And he's got a good quarterback's coach in high school uh, that he works with that I'm sure will work on this. But, like, this is what I don't like to see from quarterbacks on deep balls where they slow the arm down. See that? He slows his arm down. He tries to float and aim it. What happens? Ball's underthrown a little bit. Now, this is a completion away from um, from the uh, – um, this is a, a completion in high school. But I don't know that this is a completion against good teams at the next level. And so, to me, you want to say, hey, listen, it's one thing that to, if you want to get the ball over top, what changes is, <clears throat> is not your arm speed. It's your – you dip your back shoulder a little bit. And you get a little, maybe, or a little bit more dip on your your back foot, and then that's going to change. And then your release point is a little sooner, and that sooner release point gets the ball to go up and down. CJ Carr is great at this. You don't slow your arm speed down. So I'd want to still see snap that thing off, and that ball is going to get over top and lead that guy right into the end zone. So the, again, there's plenty of areas where this young man can get better, and that's an encouraging thing. Because hey, folks, guess what? 
Noah Grubbs doesn't have it all figured out by his sophomore year of high school. Big shocker, right? But the talent is enormous. This is not an easy throw either. He throws this ball from the 38-yard line, can't really set his feet because there's pressure coming, and he hits this wheel route in the cover two hole around the five-yard line. That's an impressive throw. Very impressive throw. Again, lots of arm talent with this young man. Lots of arm talent. This is a really nice throw up the seam. Quick drop, gets to that pack drop, drives off his back foot. There, there's some technical things he'll work off here. But I think what I think happens here is I don't think he anticipates throwing the ball this quickly. I think the read dictated it, and he's like, I got to get that ball out there. And he he drives. And I also like the ball placement here because if he leads this guy, the cornerback drives on. He's got to put that ball right on the seam and right on the numbers to prevent that corner because they're trying to play cover three here, which means that corner is responsible for driving on the seam. Well, he can't do that here because the ball gets there so quickly and ends up being a touchdown. So, again, really, really impressive arm talent. The consistency is going to be the key for Noah. Here's another one like we saw similar. You know, consistency from a footwork standpoint, consistency from a, you know, just a, a, a what you want to do with your release point consistency. Not that it's always the same because it's not going to be the same depending on the throw you're making. But just when you want to throw it a certain way, have some consistency. Nice touch here. Gets the ball over top, shows some nice touch. You know, again, you don't want a guy that's just power, power, power all the time. You've got to understand that there's got to be a little bit of touch involved as well. And Noah does a good job getting the ball over top, showing good touch. I mean, the one thing you know is if wherever this kid goes, whoever gets Noah Grubbs is going to have a quarterback that's good at throwing a deep ball. There's no doubt about that. That's the one thing we do know. Can he do the little things? Can he read the RPO game? Those are things I still have questions about. I think he's a smart kid. He processes really well for a young player. Uh, I, th I think he's coached well. He's got a lot of arm talent. He's just got to get a little bit more. I'd say I'd like to see him a little bit more mobile, as you know, just being able to to kind of do a little bit more with his legs, and then just clean up some of those other things. But the foundation he's building on is outstanding. La really, really outstanding. Good timing, good read, good ball placement, touchdown. It's a lot of talent, this young man. So you guys can see the things that I like about Noah Grubbs. You see the arm talent. He changes velocity. He can change his arm angle. He, he's got nice mobile footwork. You can see him make quick reads, quick processing, understands ball placement. Got to be more consistent. He's got to continue to develop as a young player. And – just keep building. I mean, that's the thing is that the tools are there. The tools are there. Like, look at this. He's read. This is a three by one, three by two alignment. This is empty. He reads the play to the boundary, sees that it's not there, immediately comes backside, finds that seam, and bangs that sucker in the window between the two safeties. That's not just having arm talent. That's also you got to make some decisions and throw with timing. You got to know where the defense is, where your receivers are, and get the ball where it needs to get to. Nice quick throw there. Some really good stuff. Really good stuff there from Noah Grubbs. You guys can see why I like this kid, right? Strong arm, big body, nice touch, nice feel. Does a lot of things really well, and he's just scratching the surface of what he's going to be. Again, you're talking about a kid still has two more years of high school football left. So he's going to get bigger. He's going to get stronger. There's a lot, a lot to work with there. I would say he's a little bit closer to being a finished product physically than Brady Hart, but both of them still have a lot of room to work. But the, the la I love the kids' deep ball. That's the thing you're seeing a lot of. We're, we're, here's the thing. You guys are seeing a lot of these. High, we're only halfway through the film. We're not going to watch all the film. But we're, we're, all, we're halfway through the film here of this kid. And <laughs> there's a lot of big-time throws. A lot of big-time throws. Yeah, Nathan, he's, does, he's, got, he's got a pretty fast release. It's a, it's a tad long, but that's going to be the case with a 6'4 kid. Brady Hart's got a little bit one, too. The, the length, I don't mind, but it's got to be fast, and that his is fast. This is a great ball. He throws this from the 44-yard line. It's a, it is a near hash throw. His back foot's on the 44. The receiver catches it in the end zone. He's got a guy coming off the edge, not unblocked, but kind of close to unblocked. He knows he's coming. He's got a D-tackle coming up the middle. Is that a lot? Blitz? That's a blitzing linebacker coming up the middle. Clearly beats his guard. He knows he's going to have a chance to get hit, but he lets the ball loose throws it off his back foot, flicks it on the air, over the top, right to his receiver for a touchdown. That is a big-time throw. One of the best throws he's got on film. This is another 
phenomenal throw. This is that combination of speed and 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 touch or power and touch that you need. The ball's got to get up if it's going to have a chance, but it also can't float. And and this is what I like. A lot of guys think getting it up in the air means you can't put velocity on it, and I don't agree with that. And this is this is a really nice job here. That's a really good throw, but he doesn't float it. Gets it up, but it gets up and gets down. It's like that throw CJ Carr made in the spring game. You know, it's got to get some touch on it because it's got to get over top of certain guys, but you also can't float it. It's another, that's a, that looks like an RPO throw right there. You don't see a ton of these on the highlight film, but you see that one right there. So um, that's where his release will help him a little bit. But he is a quick decision maker. And that's something that I do like from this young man. But the power, I mean, it all comes down to the power. It's the kid's got a lot of arm talent. And you can see plays with a little bit of swagger too, but I, I really like this kid. A lot. We'll watch a couple more throws, and then I'm gonna move on from Noah Grubbs to to uh, Brady Hart. There's a couple. If you haven't seen his freshman film, go back and watch his freshman film too, because there's some there's some really good throws on that too. You can see he's younger and he's skinnier, and and his arms not quite as strong. But when you talk about this kid's a freshman, he's probably 14 years old. You're like, holy moly, this kid's got some ability. That's a good that's a good throw where he's throwing it to a spot. Receiver's clearly not there yet. Let's him run right underneath it and get a touchdown. So that's a really that's a really big time throw there as well. Last couple and then we'll move on. It's an RPO for a touchdown. Really good throw there. So a lot, lot of talent here from Mr. Noah Grubbs. You can see why Notre Dame likes him as much as they do. 